Hi, in this problem, we're going to evaluate this indefinite integral. So we have the integral of secant squared minus the sine of theta. Let's go ahead and try to work through this solution. So when we're integrating, we want to think backwards. So when we're integrating secant squared, we have to think about what is a function whose derivative is secant squared? Well, recall, if you take the derivative, let's say with respect to x, of the tangent of x, that's going to be secant squared of x. So therefore, if you integrate secant squared, you should get tangent. So this will be tangent of theta. And then and now we have to think about what function is going to give us sine. So we're trying to integrate sine. So what can we differentiate that's going to give us a sine function? Well, the derivative of cosine is actually negative sine, and we already have the negative here. So this is going to be a plus cosine of theta. Really nice. Works out really, really nice. And then plus our constant of integration, capital C. So that worked out in a really clean way. And you can check this. Maybe we should. You can check your answer by simply differentiating it. So if you take the derivative of tangent, you get secant squared of theta. You take the derivative of sine of cosine, <laughs> you get negative sine of theta. And then the derivative of c is zero. So what you have here is exactly what you have in the integrand. So all is good. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.